Okay, this is a problem on open travels. An open travels is run from A to G, and deflection angles are as follows. These are the station points: B station, C station, D station, E station, and F station. And these are the deflection angles at different station points. At station B, deflection angle is 32 degrees 60 minutes. Station C and left, the direction is important. 80 degrees 34 to the right, 22 degrees 12 minutes to the left. At E, 42 degrees 24 minutes to the right, and at F, 52 degrees 42 minutes to the right. These are the deflection angles given, and direction of deflection angles are also mentioned. In this problem. Bearing of first line is given, which is 110 degrees six minutes, and we have to calculate bearing of all the other lines. Bearing of first line is given. We have to find the bearing of all the other lines, right? Now, which what is the bearing of first line? 110 degrees six minutes is the bearing of first line. To find the bearing of the next line, BC. We will be using this. We are first. We are going to plot this on a sheet, and after plotting this, no need of plotting this accurately to the angle. Just to plot it accordingly with respect to the direction, and then let us calculate the bearing of these lines. Now, bearing of line AB already known, which is 110 degrees six minutes. Bearing of line BC I need then. Bearing of line BC will be equal to so bearing of line AB already given, which is equal to 110 degrees six minutes. Then bearing of line BC is equal to listen here. This is 110 degrees. Six minutes is the bearing of line AB minus deflection angle to the left. Since the deflection angle is to the left, I am going to subtract this deflection angle. Now, the left side of the deflection angle is minus part of the previous bearing in the. It is left, right? That's why I am subtracting it from the previous bearing. That is 110 degrees six minutes minus 32 degrees 16 minutes. Then bearing of line CD is equal to so what is this value? 110 degrees six minutes minus 32 degrees 16 minutes. This value is 77 degrees 50 minutes. 77 degrees 50 minutes. Similarly, bearing of line CD is equal to 77 degrees 50 minutes. Now see the direction. What is the bearing of? What is the deflection angle at C? Is it to the right or left? Right. right. Since deflection angle is to the right, we are going to take plus. What that is the plus over? Plus 18 degrees 34 minutes. Therefore, what is the value of bearing of line CD? The calculated value is 96 degrees 24 minutes. 96 degrees 24 minutes. Similarly, bearing of bearing of line DE is equal to 96 degrees 24 minutes. 96 degrees 24 minutes. What is the deflection angle at the E? At the D? We have to know the deflection angle at D. It is to the left or right? Yes. Left. So what I have to do? Minus 22 degrees 12 minutes. Find out this value. If the deflection angle is a uh, left, you have to subtract. If deflection angle is to the right, you have to add. So 96 degrees 24 minutes minus 22 degrees 12 minutes. It is 74 degrees 12 minutes. 74 degrees 12 minutes. Similarly, bearing of line EF. Bearing of line EF is equal to 74 degrees 12 minutes 
Where your previous line then reduce to the right one huh? plus 42 degrees 24 minutes and this value is 116 degrees 36 minutes then bearing of line FG bearing of line FG is equal to 160 degrees 36 minutes that is bearing of previous line EF ok bearing of previous line EF plus deflection angle at F 52 degrees 42 minutes is a deflection angle at F then the value is 169 degrees 18 minutes is a bearing of line FG Understood? So what we have to do? Bearing of previous line minus R plus R minus deflection angle at that particular point. Say bearing of line BC will be equal to bearing of line AB plus R minus the deflection angle. So when you will be taking plus when it is to the when deflection angle is to the right you have to take plus and when deflection angle is to the left you have to take minus. Understood? So you should add the deflection angle when it is to the right. You should subtract the deflection angle when it is to the left. Like this, you are going to find the bearing of all the other lines. Right on the left on the left. In this problem, we got right. Let it follow the last one.